My name's Jade Kelly, and this is the Little Sprouts Bird album launch. I am not good at speaking in between songs, so this is a this is where I get nervous on this side. <laughs> um, so yeah, this has been a bit of a thing that I've been dreaming of since I was about five years old, and watched my music teacher, Mrs. Ram, sing for the class. Yes, it's like quite surreal to actually be fulfilling this. So, ooh, I'm just gonna fix that one up. So that last song was, um, was actually called My Dear and I'd written that one for CJ when uh, he'd had a bit of a bad day. It happens. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this is this next song um, is just about how uh, word, hurtful words can kind of crush me, especially the closer you are to me. <laughs> and um, I'd written this song just to kind of as a bit of a lullaby for myself, because the words that come out of other people's mouths are usually of their own their own journey and not a, not mine. Thank you. 
So this is an older song that I wrote at 19. It's one of those, you know, I've lost the people that I love kind of songs. Sorry, this D string is really annoying me. Sorry for the awkward silence. They're always there for me when I need them. Here's a preview of all the other greatest songs that are out there. <laughs> yes, no. So this one's called My World of Make Believe.
my dear. Sorry, I'm all tuning now. But I, it is really hard to tune and talk at the same time. <laughs> Ooh, there were some surprises there. So this mm -hmm. next song... Um, yeah, I wrote it, you know, pretty much I left a friend and it wasn't very not like, it, you know, it was for my own emotional well-being. It's not something to be criticised. It's part of life to lose and find people. But not always are those we choose to part ways with see it the same way and uh, see it as a desertion, which it really wasn't. Um, so this song's called Enemy. album is a, a little bit of a, an accumulation of my mental health journey and what I've been through in the past few years. Actually, probably more than a few years now. It's been a bit of a roller coaster, and it's felt... I've lost a lot of time, I think, <laughs> you know, in that process. And so 
you know, the conversation should be fluid and open with all of our mental struggles and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, this one is the band is swapping around, but this is uh, this is the oldest song of the album. I wrote this when I was in high school, and um, yeah, it's it's about substance abuse and um, you know what we use to numb our past in the short term um, actually ends up keeping us away from connecting with the the people that we truly need. I've used this strategy many times in many different forms because it's not just the it's not just drugs and alcohol. There's plenty of different ways that we uh, can abuse something. So um, yeah, this song hits me really deeply. This one's called "Numb My Sins." <clears throat> for days I choose 
Cool. Time to put the guitar down. Got to do some fumbling around. Hang on. Just got to move the mic over to the piano and the band are taking a break for a second. Sorry. Right, this song probably has me at my most. Yeah, I'm going to stuff this one up, so just get ready for that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, the reason why is that this song's probably the heart of the album um, and pretty much the first step towards um, healing. Um, this song's called Five Years Old, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to explain too much I'm sure you know we've all I don't know I experienced trauma as a child and um, this song is about that <laughs> I'm just very lucky though because I have a wonderful family that's always helped me through It's my heart strong lesson I'm no one's emotion or possession It's easier said than done This strikes my core Drop everything, run But every time I run away My timeline ends up back in the same circumstance Why does my journey keep doing that? Better bite this time No stop the cycle I'm entitled to be free From instinctual survival 22 years Struggling with the same fear Since I was five years old You have such control Back then I didn't dare Here's my chance to stand for my self-care But I'm really scared I'm really, really scared It's like I'm five years old Again Living in the same nightmare New souls in the same old nightmare Can't deny the 
They're back.
introduce me, me straw. So this is, I got, <laughs> I have laryngitis and I've been working hard for a month and pretty much she just said, have it on stage and let everyone see. <laughs> so this is just what I've been doing to try and get my voice up in Adam. So it's not, it's about, it's not, it's not 100% there. So I apologise. <laughs> Straw solo. <laughs> so, um, this song's called River, and uh, it's about, it's pretty much like an analogy for using the river as like, yeah, an analogy for just a moment in time. Sometimes, I don't know about you guys, but something happens and then you get stuck. You can't stop thinking about it and just festers and festers and festers until you're drowning in this whole thing. And this song's about letting that go rather than being stuck into it. So. <laughs>
This is, this is a song that I wrote. Um, I wanted really, really terribly to write a song about being a mum. And um, actually I got asked once at a gig, you should write a song about being a mum. And, and I did. However, when I came to writing it, I realised, you know, I wanted to express all the love I had for my, for my kids. Um, and then it kind of slowly dawned on me that love is, love is actually very complex. <laughs> and, um, you know... Your kids are naturally just so close to you that they actually end up seeing the very best parts of you, um, but sometimes also the very worst parts of you. And, uh, you know, the song instead is just kind of to remind us that these emotions are the whole of us and they're actually essential to loving someone entirely. Um, this is for all the parents out there. My babies in my diary, I read and see. You need me for absolutely everything, but now you are six and three, growing naturally with less dependency. It seems. We speak then suddenly one of the strategies the routines crumbling and then I scream you seem to get the very worst and best of me the very worst and very best of mommy Today 
I warned you all, I'm not the best at talking in between the songs. So, <laughs> um, This is a song that I wrote um, in New Zealand. Actually, it's kind of not how it worked. I wrote, went to New Zealand with my family a couple years ago and we were just driving around and I'd written little poems throughout the process and came home and moulded it together into this song. Um, Transcendence is, um, by definition, the existence or experience beyond the normal or physical level. And uh, this is how I feel with, with trees. Um, they're just so big and beautiful. <laughs> this song's called Transcendence and Trees. <clears throat> Each tree's arms 
like jewel droplets glistening silver charms the haze around them touches lightly her soul shines brightly stand in a far or a pair of trees 200 years of majesty got souls in the cemetery gazing lost in their canopy transcendence and trees stand in a far or a pair of trees 200 years of majesty got souls in the cemetery gazing lost in their takes hold of me Lines of matching trees and patches Patchwork pastures just try and catch her Cause she's lost within a daydream Her eyes is nature called she falls and cries our last song and uh, no. you guys <laughs> you guys are very beautiful um, so obviously before I do that I definitely want to just do a few thank yous um, firstly thank you for coming very much it's meant so much to me um, yeah it's been a bit overwhelming I'm gonna cry probably afterwards <laughs> um, I wanted to also thank Richard Neal and Jimmy Trees for coming up. I want to thank the audio team, the film team and the cameras. Thank you very much. Um, I also definitely want to thank my parents, my mum, my dad, my in-laws, my mum and my dad. Um, I want to thank um, also Jess, who's looking after the kids and made this whole thing so much easier. Woo, Jess! Woo! <laughs> Really took the load off with that one. Um, so, yeah, the CD is available and it should be on all the streaming stuff. I'm pretty sure today. Today. Today it's on all the streaming stuff. Woo! <laughs> so, have a listen. I'm really sorry that I've had the laryngitis and my voice probably wasn't... Wasn't as, you know, I'll get, yeah, I'll get over it. The only other thing I just wanted to say is, like, you know, if you need advice on mental health, you know, just speak to someone you can trust. Seriously.
because it's the best way to get through it. And it's, I'm not saying it's not a hard journey, but it's definitely a rewarding one. So, This is the last song and it's called We All Scream. It's another quite old song, but I love this one. Um, it's just about looking after the, our planet and taking care of the environment. Thank you. <laughs> I'll do one more. Thank <laughs> Thanks, Andy, for the capo. I've, I realised it's yours. <laughs> I didn't want you looking in the crowd and going, hey, that's mine. <sighs> um, so, yeah, uh, thank you so much. <sighs> Don't know how to really introduce this song because someone very in my life deserves to have this song sung to them. 
Um, this is for my mum. I've, it's, it's an old song and we used to fight a lot because I didn't used to understand my condition or what was going on. I just used to be angry at everyone. And um, I'd written this after a bit of a fight and um, it, was the, it was a good song. It brought a lot of healing, I think, for us. <clears throat> because I couldn't I can't use my words to express how I feel or what I have to say but if I write a song it can just come out and and that's pretty much how I how I do it <laughs> so the song's called forgive me <clears throat> me from all the pain I know I'd cause you it hurt me to lie if only you knew I can see you trying so hard to look proud she was once so strong look at her now but that's how I feel about myself furthermore by blocking you out I'm locking both sides of the door And I remember the times I'd come home and I cried in your arms After some boy broke my heart But you were there right from the very start And I never, never, never noticed I was too brief I was too focused Making sure you weren't ashamed I was so scared But look again Can you see me there? And you've also been Today, would you talk about how proud you were of me? And if you died tonight, I don't think you'd leave knowing that I remember the times I'd come home and I cried in your arms after some boy broke my heart. But you were there right from the very start. Ashamed, I was so scared. But look again, can you see me there? Mother, look at me. I know I'm not who I should be, and I know I should not have said those things. And I hope one day that you'll forgive. ashamed I was so scared but look again can you see me there 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 look again can you see me just forgot to do a couple more thank yous and I just wanted to you know I didn't I don't think I properly I'm bad with my words but 
I don't think I properly actually got to thank you guys. Just looking at you all now and just seeing how each of you have meant something to me in my life and it means so much. It really does. Thank you, Cindy, for coming. <laughs> Taught me all my instruments, even though I'm doing them a little badly today. <laughs> but yeah, no, thank you so much. It means a lot. I hope you guys had a good time. Thanks. We're going to the Storybridge pub. If everyone wants to come, let's go keep it going. Be great to see you guys there. <laughs> Thank you.